What's up everybody? Welcome to Medellin, Colombia. Right now I'm in La Comuna 13, which for many years was one of the most dangerous barrios in the entire world. Now it has completely reshaped itself and this community is thriving. And today I'm gonna show you guys around. Now, this here is all the Comuna 13. Basically a huge favela of over 150,000 inhabitants slapped right on the side of a hill in Medellin. Now, this place is absolutely beautiful. As you can already tell, the city of Medellin is huge. It's massive. It goes on for a distance. And I'll be showing you a lot more of this city over the course of the next few days. Now, please don't mind the music too much. There is a lot going on. A lot of people have drinking beers, a lot of music playing. So um, this is probably not gonna be monetized anyways, but I hope you guys still enjoy it. Now, right now, on the main walkway here in the Comuna, there's all kinds of souvenir stands selling everything from sunglasses to keychains to clothing. People walking around selling balloons, cotton candy. All kinds of souvenirs, clothing. This place is truly a vibe and the people of the Comuna 13 are so friendly, so nice. All of them want to dance, have fun, talk to you, know where you're from. I love it, man. Let me know down in the comments if you guys are already loving what you're seeing. <laughs> So much street art. So this area is really known for its art nowadays and a lot of people come here specifically for its graffiti and you're gonna see why here in a minute because you are about to see so much graffiti. Probably the most graffiti you've ever witnessed in your life. So basically what has happened here in the Comuna is a lot of the people that lived here in these houses down on this sidewalk essentially just turned their homes into storefronts and now sell all kinds of merchandise from the front of their homes which is really cool and honestly yeah i'd probably be doing the same thing if i've realized that the community is bringing in tourism why not start a business and yeah rent it right from home one thing i've also noticed is that there's not really any government influence in this neighborhood either. I haven't seen much police as well, like in other parts of Medellin. Here in Colombia specifically, there are police everywhere. Here in the Comuna, I haven't seen not one. Now let's continue this walk. It looks like there's actually some people break dancing, or, or there was. Everybody's just starting to disperse now from there, but right now we're actually about to take the escalators back down because I actually just got done filming a video for my other channel so I currently walked all the way up here and already have done the complete look around the Comuna 13 don't know what that was about but let's make our way down these escalators now shall we now, these escalators were actually put here in 2011 and finished in 2012. Before these escalators were in place here in the Comuna 13, the local people actually had to walk 28 stories high and it would take roughly 30 minutes to make it up here every single day from work down at the bottom of Medellin to up here on the side of this favela. So you can imagine the escalators completely shaped this community as a whole. Now, there's so many different tours going on here in the Comuna 13. Most people actually come up here. Wow, I don't even know if you guys can hear me right now. Let's see if I can get a little bit of quiet space. But most people actually come up here on a free walking tour or a graffiti tour. I just come out here by myself because I have in fact been up here several times. But I highly recommend taking a tour, especially if you're coming up here for your first time because there's just so much important historic facts that you need to know about this place. Again, she had no 
slow down a bit to show you guys a bit more of the street art but as you can tell the people absolutely love it everyone stops to take their pictures along the way which is really really cool to do I mean why not it's very important to make sure to get all your memories down when you're in one place because you never know if you're gonna make it back one day you know but check out this beautiful mural here that they actually built in remembrance to a horrific event that actually took place here on October 16th, 2002, here in the Camino Trece. Now, I'm not gonna start talking a whole lot about that event or what took place on that day because I'm simply just not the most educated person on that topic, but feel free to look it up, guys. Now, there's actually six of these escalators. I believe that right now we are on the longest one. But I really can't wait to get down and show you guys the view from the bottom of the whole Camina Tres because man, it's pretty unreal how high up these escalators get you in a matter of five minutes time. It's quite impressive. Now alongside of the escalators, there's also all kinds of different like small little art museums, gift shops, souvenir shops. Look at this little art gallery. All of these are hand painted as well. Time to jump down the second one. I definitely need to pick up a, a couple souvenirs before I leave Medellin because I'm really bad at leaving without buying, without buying anything. And man, I really need to get better at that. Sometimes I get all the way home and I'm like, damn, I didn't buy anything. Really? Really, Chris? So definitely need to do better. Wow, look at this little small restaurant slash cafe. That looks pretty cool. So basically, if you guys are even considering coming to Camino Trece, you should. There shouldn't be no hesitation. It's a, a beautiful, amazing place, actually. There's a lot going on, a lot to do, a lot to see. <laughs> Looks like they're having a nice barbecue grill over there in that direction. Wow, literally just so much life here. Now, it's actually fairly easy to get here as well from the center of Medellin. It actually only took me about two small train rides to get here, about a half an hour in total. Now, a lot of people did say that the metro was in fact dangerous and that I shouldn't be carrying around anything, but in my opinion, you know, it's just like every other metro in any big city. You just have to be very vigilant. But it was like two bucks for a round trip, so you can't really go wrong there. Let's see if we can see how far we've come down. No, not yet. So let's continue our walk. But now we've essentially made it down to the bottom of the favela which was located up on the side of the hill and here is where you're going to be mixed in more with the normal city contrast and not the hillside of the city but let's see what we can see down here in this area because there is so much going on and we're definitely going to have to pick up a few souvenirs to take back with us I have no idea how all of these motorcycles drive up this super steep hill with all of these people. I'd definitely be hitting a few people down like bowling pins for sure. I wonder what everybody's waiting in line for. Oh, ice creams. Wow, those ice creams must be incredible. Seriously, so many people waiting in line for those ice creams. Hmm.
Now you can tell the atmosphere out here, especially in the evening, is very much alive. Right now it is a Saturday night, so the people are all out here enjoying themselves. A couple cold beers. Here in Colombia, there are these like little liquor stores almost, such as this little Aguila one, pretty much everywhere. And you can just walk on up, buy yourself a beer and enjoy it right out front. The people here in Colombia love to drink this beverage called Agua Diente, which honestly, in my opinion, is not the greatest, but they like to drink it with water and man, it's a vibe. Now let me know what you guys think about this street art. I find it extremely interesting. Check out this piece here with a master octopus in front of it, a monster octopus in front of it. And this nice basketball slash soccer court located right here in the middle of all of this. Wow, crazy, right? Right now, we're about to get close to an area where I saw some pretty insane. Wow, did you guys see that? That guy just ran up and smacked that girl's butt and she was drunk. You guys just seen that? I know I was just filming that. Insane. But look guys, Check out some of these murals that are located here right in the entrance of the Comuna. I really, really like this one right here with the lion and the male head. That's super sick. And it pretty much continues all the way down this walkway. Now, to give you guys a little bit of a perspective on where we just walked down from, that's where we were just at prior to getting on the escalator. So we've made it down quite a ways, I believe. As I mentioned earlier, it's about 28 stories, so quite high in a matter of minutes. Now, you know what? I'm just going to be quiet now for a little bit, guys, and I'm just going to let you guys enjoy the vibes of this place. Man, such a beautiful evening. Anyways guys, I think this is gonna be the end of our small little tour through the Camino Trece. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of what I was experiencing, checking in from here in Medellin. This Camino honestly has come such a long way from its very horrific narco ran past, and I'm really excited to see it going in the direction that it was. As I mentioned, I visited La Comuna Trece for the very first time four years ago, and this place has definitely developed and modernized so much. When I first visited, there was probably two or three souvenir stores. Now, the whole time you're walking, you're seeing souvenirs about the Comuna Trece, Medellin, and Colombia. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be the end of today's video. Please remember to smash that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in a few days for another incredible video.